Hi everyone and welcome to a blended tutorial of how to create neon text. Now this is going to differ from other tutorials because we're not going to be using the shortcut keys. So this is very beginner friendly. So the only keys we're going to be using is actually to create this text in here. There's no going to be no movement keys. We're just going to get in there and use a mouse to create this. Worst thing I find with Blender is that people start teaching it and teaching you the shortcut keys, X, Y, O, Z, P, Q, press R, and it just gets way too much. So we're just gonna be very beginner friendly and get in there and show you how to do this. So let's start by creating a new file. So file new, and we come over to general, and I'm not gonna save this, so don't save. We've got our scene. The first thing I want to get, do is actually get rid of this cube. So I'm going to right click and delete on the cube. Now we're going to add some text. You can do this with a standard object if you want. It's up to you. But I'm just going to do a text. So add and text from the menu. We're going to start coming over to the right hand side here. We can see we've got text in here. We're going to start coming down. And if I scroll this up, we can see this A here, so object data properties. And this is the text that we've placed on the screen. Now this may take a little while because I've got to get myself positioned. Now I normally would do this with shortcut keys to get in there, but we're just gonna zoom into that text so we can see what we're doing. So we've got the text there, and I'm going to first align this. So we come down on our properties for our text, and we're looking for paragraph, which is here. And we're looking for the alignment inside. And we'll just center that along the horizontal and click on center along the vertical. And we just do some readjustment. So we've got the text. And now we're going to basically change this text. So I need to come up to the top here where I've got object mode. I need to go into edit mode. We get the cursor there so we can start deleting the text from the keyboard. And this is the only keys that I'm going to use. So I'm gonna type in neon here, something like that. You can change the font if you want. But we've got our text now. So now we're going to modify this so we just get the outline. Come over to our properties for our object, our object data properties. And we're going to come into the shape which should be at the top. Here we go, the shape. And inside that drop down, we've got fill mode. At the moment, it's got both. Let's just drop this down to none. We get the outline of that text now. We've still got our cursor there because we're in edit mode. So let's drop this down and go to object mode. Now we're gonna have a look at some of the other properties in here. So I'm gonna come into geometry. What I want to do is thicken up these sides. So I'm gonna come down to bevel. So the bevel here, and we're going to give this a depth. So I'm just going to use my mouse and I've clicked and I'm just moving it to the right slightly. So we've got the depth there. We can use offset, etc. Um, I might add some spacing between this. So let's come down to paragraph and come down to the spacing. Now we've got character spacing, so we can space this out a bit. And there we go. And we've got line spacing, offset, etc. Let's make those letters a bit more wider. So I'm going to come in to offset and just bring the offset out just to make an offset on there. That's a nice effect. So we've got that. We are now going to add the material to create a glow with this. So I'm going to come down to the materials, this one here, material properties. Scroll this up. And we're going to come in here and add a new material to this text. So let's make sure we've got it selected. Got it selected there and click new on the materials. We can see the surface has come up and that's changed that. And we're going to go to emission. And now we can give it a color. If I click over here, we can see, well, there's nothing happening at the moment. And this is because of the render mode. So that's bring this over to the right. My screen is slightly larger to allow you to see more of what's going on. And we're gonna click on this one and you can see the white's coming through. Probably go to the full render in a minute. 
render preview. We'll just work with this one at the moment. We're going to come to strength in a minute. We're going to change the strength later. So we've got our color. Let's change this to a nice orangey color. Let's go for yellow to start with so we can see it better. Next thing is I want to come to the world. So I want to change the world properties. And if we look in here, I want to change the color of the world so we can get a better effect. At the moment, it's gray. So let's pull this down to black and click off. We can see nothing's changed, so that's changed our render mode. So come up to the top here. We've got this little icon here. Viewport shading, method display shade, render display, render view. There we go. So now we've got this here. I'm going to turn off this grid in so we can see it better. So I'm going to come over to the overlays and drop this down. Let's turn off the floor. Let's turn off the 3D cursor and the X and the Y axis. Let's so just get rid of those so we can see that a bit more better now. We now got to change the way this is being rendered. So I'm going to come out to the scene this one here, this little camera icon, render properties. And we need to change the render engine. So at the moment, this is set to EV, which I want. That allows me to access the bloom property here, the bloom option. So I click that and we can come into here. And we can change the color of the bloom. We can change the threshold, etc. So if I bring down the threshold, you can see we're having an effect. Now, it's only a small effect, and this is where the strength of that color comes in. So we're going to jump back over to the materials, come down to the materials, and look at the color. And let's bring up this strength, and you can see how that's changing, and we're getting the neon effect. So it's a juggle in between the strength of the material for that emission and the render properties this one here between radius and threshold to decide what kind of effect that we want. We can even go for color and give a bit of a different color output there. And the intensity, we can juggle these about to get the effect that we want. So I hope that's helped. No shortcuts. No pressing A, E, I, O, U, whatever. Just straight in there using the mouse. I've actually got my hand off the keyboard. So I don't use shortcuts. Just to show you from a beginner's perspective how easy that is. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0 I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content and that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon